aviation fans and YouTubers. Today's video is a real quick one, just a really simple overview on GRT Avionics. Uh, I am not sponsored by GRT by any means and uh, just a big fan of them and I think a lot of people don't know a whole lot about them. Uh, they just you know, can see pictures of them online, check out the website, but uh, I use them every day in IFR situations and um, you know, use them to fly my plane and I thought uh, maybe you guys would want a quick overview. So I'm on a flight to Oregon uh, during this video. My wife is up there getting transition training and uh, I'm flying up there to pick her up. She flew up commercial and I'm gonna pick her up and bring her back down. So I'll have a video on that flight, on her transition training, how everything went uh, coming soon. But today, just a quick overview overview of GRT Avionics. Um, that's Grand Rapid Technologies out of uh, Michigan. And uh, they do a lot for the experimental world. And I uh, thought I'd make a little video to educate and uh, inform. Thanks. All right, welcome back. We've uh, changed about 2,000 feet. We had to climb for terrain to get over the hump here. So we're up here at 12,000 and uh, it's about as high as I'm comfortable flying without O2. Especially uh, if you check our engine page here, um, our density altitude is 13.9 right here because it's pretty warm for 12,000 feet. So I'm gonna be breathing deep and uh, keep an eye on my pulse ox. And as soon as we clear the hills here, probably just after Bedford, I'll ask to get lower. Uh, that way we can start breathing good again. But uh, fuel flow is really good, 6.7 gallons an hour. And uh, we're humming along, getting 24 miles to the gallon. And uh, 24 nautical miles to the gallon, that's pretty good gas mileage. Wanted to take you through real quick some of the tools I have in the cockpit here. Um, and as far as Charlie goes, uh, he's a pretty, I would consider him a technically advanced aircraft. Uh, it's got an autopilot, digital screens, MFD, PFD. Um, the cool thing about the GRT stuff is it just loves to talk to everything. Um, it, it's tough to set up, but once you get it set up, it's really, really functional. And uh, you can see, uh, you know, this button's to control our PFD screens, this button controls our MFD screens, this is our engine page. So we can hit here and get um, some of the different engine pages. You can see uh, we're still cranking, you know, 60% power up here, um, almost 19 on the manifold pressure, so not too bad. Um, need to do a tank switch, which reminds me. So we'll do that. And uh, on the map screen, you can pull up the map. We got ADSB that loads here from um, the GTX 345. And we can get weather and all that stuff on there, traffic, um, the, all the good stuff. And you can adjust different pages. You can have a 360 in the map. You can have your HSI up there. Um, north up, um, you can have, put an engine page on the bottom, which is usually how I fly. And then uh, here's the PFD, and you can see I got, you know, the primary flight display. I got an HSI up here, then our engine page down here, and we just relean the mixture uh, because we climbed up to 12,000, had to relean it. So, so the temps are starting to come back down. Um, the PFD is great. I mean, you can all kinds of different modes um, that you can select. There's a map screen, HSI. Um, here's an engine page with you gives your fuel totals, and you can adjust all this stuff to how you want it. Um, when I'm, you know, making a video, obviously I put it there so you guys have every ounce of information that you can get. Um, which uh, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. The great thing about uh, the GRT is it's got its own autopilot controls. So, um, a really, you know, it's really cool once you get it all working. Uh, we have a true track autopilot here, which functions um, without the GRT, you don't need it. It'll talk straight to the, the GTN 650, and uh, the true track will work and pull information off that. But I have it set up so that the um, GRTs can talk to the true track as well. And the GRTs can can interpret ILS information and tell the true track exactly how to handle that. So if you want to bring up your autopilot controls, it's a couple of button clicks here and you have your, you can arm. Um, good morning, Army 5 zero nine one. You can select your altitudes. Um, you can select your vertical speeds. You, you have a, if I want to kick on a flight director, I can do that. And all of a sudden we have a flight director. Uh, we have a highway in the sky, which is pretty cool. Um, Obviously, here's all your autopilot functions. Um, this is to arm your um, arm and approach. So here's GPS V, um, ILS, localizer, you know, any of that stuff. It's pretty awesome. 
Um, you can set your decision altitudes, your missed altitudes, um, all that stuff, and uh, synthetic vision, all that. And uh, all that's from a GRT. And what I love about the GRT, they're super affordable. Um, it's a smaller company and it's experimental only. Uh, but they they got great customer service and uh, they really make a great bulletproof product. Uh, what I really appreciate about the, the GRT stuff is it is just rock solid reliable and uh, it has been since I've gotten it. Truthfully, when I first got the plane, I wanted uh, I wanted to upgrade it with G3X everything and it had older GRT stuff in here from probably 2012 or 2013. and. Uh, I ended up loving the GRT so much and the reliability of it so much that I ended up uh, just keeping this and, and rolling with it. And uh, it's been really good. I got my instrument rating in it and uh, we're gonna be flying and probably have to fly an approach today into a you know a place I've never been. And uh, I'm pretty comfortable doing that. And uh, well, hopefully the cameras will show that and we'll see how it goes. But uh, I think uh, this, this equipment is really, really good and uh, really helps you um, keep an eye on the plane and um, I can control heading, you know, vertical speed, um, you know, it allows me to climb at a certain airspeed instead of um, just uh, instead of just a feet per minute, which is what the true track does. So it's got a little bit of safety margin built in there and, and uh, it's pretty handy. So, uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the GRT and uh, the avionics and the plane. I do have, um, you know, obviously steam gauge backups, which is great um, in case everything fails, but um, these each have their own attitude, heading, and reference system, so if one fails, the other one works. Um, I mean, they, they definitely uh, work independent of each other, and uh, I can even shoot an ILS on my Garmin SL30 if my GTN 650 goes out. So, just total, total backups to the backups, which is pretty awesome. And uh, that's why I'm comfortable flying this thing single pilot IFR, um, you know, doing approaches down to minimums in, uh, in good condition. So, anyway. Uh, right, that's the wrap for today. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about GRT, how it looks, how it performs, and uh, tune in for the next videos. They're going to be good ones. We'll see you soon.